Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Stanley with Stanley Handcrafted and today I'm going to be testing some new dye chips that I got from Amazon. These are Soul Soy, they're premium soy wax dye chips. Uh, I've had these for a little bit, been meaning to do a video, so we're just going to go ahead and jump right in, kind of see how these perform. All right, so jumping right into this one, I'm going to be testing the Soul Soy premium soy wax dye. I got this a little while ago, I've been meaning to do a video on this one, so we're going to go ahead and get to it today. Uh, I'm just going to basically test out a couple different colors with this one. Uh, I'm very curious to see what the black looks like. Obviously everybody knows that black dyes in soy wax uh, have a real difficult time getting like a true black. So I definitely want to put this in there. Definitely try the black. Uh, probably going to try, I don't know, maybe the fuchsia and just kind of see how it comes out. Uh, you can get these on Amazon. I've seen these pop up quite a bit. I uh, got this one to try out. Just going over a little bit of the product information here. The product is animal friendly, which is very nice, especially with somebody who wants to have kind of a uh, real eco-friendly line, especially with soy. Uh, this product is irritant free and safe for the skin. It is non-toxic and does not stain. So uh, I like that quite a bit. And then with this soy, I'm also going to be pouring into some of the 16, 17 uh, vessels that I got just to kind of fill those up, do some wick testing in that one. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and melt some soy and try this out. All right, so we'll go ahead and pop these open real quick just to show you what it looks like. I'll come in individual packages and it's in somewhat of a kind of a brittle chip form. So dye chips. Nice looking colors on these though. There's the fuchsia, deep cherry. White, uh, I probably don't have to worry about that too much with soy wax just because soy is typically pretty white, but maybe something like the 6006, might try that in there just to see how well that, could, uh, cause 6006 is a little bit of a, kind of a yellowish off white color. And then of course, this is the black, which is very weird. So I'm real curious to see, I'm real curious to see how that turns out in the soy. All right, so I went ahead and put one pound of soy. And then for the black dye, I'm just gonna do two chips like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw these in now just so that it melts along with it. Uh, with liquid dye or dye chips, you can add your liquid dyes or any dyes pretty much at any point. Uh, I typically like to wait till the wax completely melts. That way I can actually see, that way I actually know the wax is completely melted. Certain colors, if you add the dye uh, too soon, it can be a little hard to see through the wax to make sure it's all melted. So I typically add my dyes when it's fully melted, but we're gonna go ahead and let these melt down just because it's more of a chip form just to give it a little bit longer to melt. All right, so pouring into this one, uh, I'm gonna be using Candle Science Apple Harvest, which is really nice. Uh, I like to use this one also along with cinnamon, just cause it's a real strong scent. Uh, we're gonna be pouring into the 1617 Monaco Gold and then the black West Side Collection from 1617 also. And then basically, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill these with wax just because I'm wick testing with these. So we're just gonna go ahead and fill those up and then any leftover wax, I'm gonna go ahead and put it into shot cups. I want to use a pound of wax and it's probably going to 
almost fill this one. And this one's only going to about three quarters of the way, but that's not too bad because we'll just go ahead and drop a wick down in the center of that one. And then uh, we'll go ahead and do a test burn. All right, we'll go ahead and let those harden up and see how that black looks. All right. <clears throat> All right, so I went ahead and got the fuchsia out. It's looking pretty good in here. We're gonna go ahead and pour this into the Moulin Rouge Medium and the Maya Ceramic. And for this one, I'm just using Plumeria from Canvas Science. color looks amazing in that. I'm hoping it stays like that. I'm sure it'll soften up a little bit with soy, but I'm real curious to see how strong these are. All right, we'll go ahead and let those harden up too. All right, so these are pretty much done. <clears throat> you can tell the fuchsia came out really nice. Nice bright color. Uh, the black is to be expected. Uh, it definitely came out a little gray. Again, putting that black inside of probably uh, like the virgin coconut soy, I think would come out a little bit darker. 6006, it's still gonna be a little bit gray. And of course, you could probably add a lot more chips to that and it would come out a little bit darker, but then you run into the possibility of it smelling like the chips. All right, so that's pretty much it. The uh, dye chips actually worked out pretty well. I will say with the black, you do have to add quite a bit, but again, that's to be expected with any black dye, especially going into soy. Uh, as far as the like, other colors, like the fuchsia, I could have added far less of the fuchsia and gotten a real nice color out of that one. So you definitely don't need to add a lot for the other colors, but overall, these are a very nice way to go. Very good dye chips. And like I said, you can pick these up on Amazon. They have a bunch of different colors in here from uh, yellow, green, purple, super red, royal blue, bright blue, fuchsia, deep cherry, green, bright orange, silver, gold, dark green, teal, white, and black. Uh, the I still have a couple different, I still have a couple colors that I wanna test out, but uh, for the most part, these turned out really well. I'm gonna go through, I wanna test the white in a couple different waxes. I'm gonna try them in the soy just to see what it does in there. But like I said in the video earlier, uh, soy is typically pretty white anyway, so you really don't need a whole lot going into that one. I do want to test it out in uh, the 6006 because it's kind of an off-white color to see if we can kind of brighten that up just a little bit. And then of course, over the next couple weeks, I'm going to do some more testing in this one with uh, some different waxes just to, these are specifically made for soy, but of course you could probably use these for uh, a many different waxes. So I'll go through and test those again also. And then of course, in any of the videos that I use these chips, I'll go ahead and note it in the video when I do use these dye chips. Uh, in future videos. Uh, these actually turned out pretty well. They melted down really well. Uh, I did throw them in at the beginning of the wax or at the beginning of the melt stage so that it just melted along with the soy chips and it came out really well. There's no like little bits and fragments, uh, nothing really stuck to the edges. Uh, they melted down extremely well. The colors are nice and bright. I actually like these quite a bit. So I would definitely say check them out. Uh, I've seen quite a few people in the group use these uh, and they've also had good luck with these. Uh, if these are chips that you've used, uh, if these are wax chips that you've used in the past, please let me know what you think of them in the comments down below. Uh, very interested to see what people think, what waxes they've used these with and kind of how well they work for you. And again, if you are interested in using these, I've included a link to these uh, in the video description down below. So definitely jump over there, take a look. And if you do end up trying these, let me know what you thought of them. And of course, like I said, there's a bunch of people in the DIY Facebook group, which of course is linked in the video description down below. A lot of people are using these in the group. So definitely jump over there, see what other people are doing with these. And of course, you can follow me on any of the social media links that I've included down below, Instagram, Facebook, my website, my email address if you wanna reach out. And of course, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and thank you for watching.